Greetings G.I. Joe fans and welcome to another toy review this side of the action figure line this time with uh, G.I. Joe Resolute Cobra Leader Cobra Commander yeah Cobra Commander right there is the uh, modern version or modern take on the uh, of the old characters from the 80's street present with Cobra Commander who appeared on also to the uh, new animation G.I. Joe Resolute that came out in 2008 uh, five minute short episode um, basically you, go, you know the gist about the Resolute anyone who haven't seen it try to find it research it online it is there so uh, basically I'm just giving you a quick review of the G.I. Joe Resolute action figures uh, if you have seen the previous review on my Duke this time around we're doing it with Cobra Commander so basically it's been around since I've done the review for G.I. Joe and uh, for the modern version so uh, we got here the Cobra Commander if you see the uh, packaging is similar to the 25th anniversary edition uh, bringing back the 80's look with a modern take uh, with a cool art with Cobra Commander awesome uh, re rendition of the modern tyrant leader of Cobra himself so um, you can see the pro profile of Cobra Commander if you haven't read the profiles I'll pause this screen and uh, have it looked you can check it out there you go so uh, you can see the previous uh, toy lines that came out with it and uh, well let's start opening this uh, slithering snake right at you okay so um, Let's start with this right now. Oops, sorry about moving the camera. Okay. Okay, so uh, take a look at the Cobra Commander and it, it's uh, in inner packaging. It has a pistol, uh, a sword, figure stand. We got it right here. So let's uh, take a look at this uh, nasty tyrant right here. Okay. Okay. Looking to the figure itself, it's very nice. He has this uh, man skirt that they were saying, but it's made of rubber. It's molded to the uh, man skirt that he has. What good is, is he has a sword holster where he could put his sword in. So, uh, there you go. And uh, the helmet is no longer removable as uh, the the modern representation representation of the vintage version, the 25th A. So far, it has lack of articulation due to the uh, the just, I don't know what you call this, but uh, you know, kind of like the cape. And uh, oh, ball joint the heads, double oh, single hinge uh, knee. Well, actually double jointed, uh, but uh, it hampers the uh, the legs to do its uh, awesome uh, poses. So uh, basically, uh, Cobra Commander has a uh, hand that uh, similar to the vintage version that they have taken to the uh, 25th anniversary modern version uh, using it it's like uh, having a pistol on the sand uh, there you go so uh, basically Cobra Commander looks regal here with, uh, with these man skirt and sort of cape but uh, limited was limited to doing some poses so uh, you could notice that Oh, and oh, I didn't know it could be the the helmet is removable as always. Uh, it's kind of weird though. It's rubbery, 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 rubbery. Okay, so that's how you do it. So uh, you see, we have Cobra Commander giving a 360 look on the uh, boss snake of Cobra. So far, I'd give it it uh, similar to Duke GL5. Not much uh, glamour on it that uh, would make me like this figure, but uh, it, it give, got me the counterpart for Duke. So uh, basically, a nice figure, awesome find. 
very nice detail uh, so far I'd better look at the uh, current ones that came out like the uh, the ones from POC probably we'll see what's the new look for Cobra Commander but I'm not taking that the, the movie version was more luckluster than this one but uh, I take my my old Cobra Commander look from the 80s with added a little bit modern with minus the man skirt so this turns me off as well as this one uh, making it more or less of an articulated figure so again appreciate your time and taking a view and sharing this with you guys and uh, again thank you very much and thank you for viewing have a nice day